Hey, welcome back to the CK Midwest Model Shop. Why don't we get started on a three-part video. The first part is going to be setting up uh, Photo Mono X 6KS. And then the uh, second one, we will go over the menu and do the slicing tools. And then we third video, we will print what we slice. So, so don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that follow me bell. And go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't hurt you. It won't hurt you at all. And you might get the prize. We might, if we get 100 uh, um, subscriptions to this page, I'm going to have a giveaway of a 3D printer. So hit that subscribe button and follow us as we continue on our journey. Okay, I got the power supply hooked up to it. And what we're going to do, we're going to turn it on. Get a little warm up. First thing we're going to do is raise the platform up. Move it up and get it way out of the way. There we go. When you first get it, it's going to have a film on it. It's not a screen protector, so we've got to take that off. And the first thing we're going to put it on is a screen protector. Now it comes with one, so use that one. Also, you might want to get on eBay or uh, Amazon and get you some extra ones. Because this thing will protect your screen, save you lots of money in the long run. So, you'll notice one will say front and one will say back. The back, of course, goes down. So we're going to take that off. Take it off. Like that. You will notice right here, hard to see, but it's a couple notches. Those notches are for up here. So get it centered on the screen. Get it set. Get it set here where you want. And just slowly let it come to come onto the screen while you're Get all the air out of it. Let's go a little bit at a time. Along the screen. While you're doing it, watch for bubbles. If you see a bubble and stop, squeeze it right out, right into the open. There you have it. Get it all secured. And you see, no bubbles. Then you're going to take the cover off, which is the front, and just peel it off. Now your screen is protected from any resin spill because the screen is very expensive if you need to uh, or replace it. So, the important stuff is done. Next step. Just put the build plate on. Before you put the build plate on, you're going to need to loosen all the screws in it. So you got this situation here. And then just a matter of slide it right on here. Turn the screw up. Go ahead and slide in here. Set it to the back. Screw it down. And then the last thing you need to do is take the protector off. And we're going to take off the protective on the control. And 
then we're going to bring it down here and show you how to set it up and how to level the plate. Okay, now that I got the film on it, I got my build table loosened up. We're going to zero it out. We'll do that to, by going to the tools, X, Y, move, and we're going to hit the home button. And we're going to put this piece of paper there as our zeroing template. Let it do its thing. It's going to center itself up, down. When it's done moving, you're going to hold that down. And we're going to tighten all the screws that we loosened up before. Now, we're going to go back to the screen. We're going to hit the 0.1 millimeter. Highlight that. And we're going to hit that twice. Now you got to try to move the paper. Move the paper till there's feel some resistance on it. Move it one more time. One more time. There we go. Well, once we do that, once we're okay with the piece of paper. We go down here and put zero equals, I'm sorry, Z equals zero. Setting Z, return or enter, we're going to enter. Now, do I want to raise platform? Raise the platform. Now I like the platform a little bit higher, so I'm going to hit Z again. I'm going to hit the 10 millimeter. Hit it about five times. And there we got it. Next step is to put the bat in. The bat is this. And of course it's got a cover on it, so take the cover off. And you'll see little dips here that go with the nibs on the vat. Sets right in. And we're going to go ahead and put the screws on it. Holds the vat in place. 